A blanket of snow covers the forest floor. A deer, hungry, searching for food. With each step, the sound of crunching beneath his hooves. Hello everyone and welcome to the all new Liana DIY. In case you're confused, this is Terrarium Crafts. We have just rebranded. So I hope that you like the changes. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let's get started with the DIYs. So today I wanted to make some beautiful ornaments that were also great as a gift idea. I'm starting off with these wooden heart MDF boards. You're going to start off by covering your wood. I'm using white gesso but you can just use acrylic paint. I'm doing two sets of ornaments as you can see. So I'm taking two different sets of napkins. I'm opening them up and then I'm removing the inner layers. Once you've done that, you're going to take your napkin and decide which area you want from it. And so you want to gently rip around that area, being very careful because of course napkins are really delicate. Once you have your little area, you can take some PVA or Mod Podge and then you're going to apply some, and not too much, onto your napkin and then add it onto your board. And then you want to take another layer of Mod Podge so that you can place it on top of the napkin. So you can see here I'm just deciding on the placement and then I'm cutting off all of the excess napkin and then I'm adding Mod Podge to the sides so that it's all nice and neat. When you're doing this it's up to you if you want to use gloss Mod Podge or matte and it's also down to you if you want to cover the entire MDF shape or just the napkin area. This is one of my favourite tips, tricks and hacks. I love taking my hot glue and adding it inside these silicone moulds. So you can create lots of different shapes. This one here mimics like twine rope and you've got two different thicknesses as you can see. So once you've got your hot glue in the mould, give it a minute or two before you take it out because it's just going to be really gooey otherwise. You want to make sure that it's nice and set. And you can also do this with clay but it just costs more. Hot glue is just accessible and it's really cheap. So once all of my embellishments were set, I took them out of the mould and then I hot glued them on to the edges of the heart so that I'm creating a nice border. On the first stag heart, I'm using the thicker twine rope from the silicone mould and then on the other stag, I was using the thinner one. I'm taking my scissors to trim off any excess of the hot glue embellishment that I don't need. I then decided that I want to take more of the napkin and decoupage it onto the heart to fill up all of that white empty space. I'm taking another silicone mould here, this one's quite nice, it's like a shabby chic design. So I'm just taking my hot glue again and filling that area in, selecting the mould that I want. Now while that's setting, I'm going to start decorating. So I'm starting off with my white acrylic gesso. Again, you can use any paint that you have. And I'm just colouring all of the border that we created using the hot glue and silicone mould. I'm also taking a light coat of white gesso to add to the napkin so that it can mould in a little bit more with everything else. I wanted to add a touch of colour, not too bright, not too much, so I decided that the Arteza Mika powders work really well for this. I just added a little bit of blue to match the colours of the napkin, as you can see it's kind of like blues and whites. And I added a little bit of powder to my palm and then took my paintbrush and just added a little bit to the whole border. These powders are just so beautiful because they're pearlescent, so they have this gorgeous shimmer and shine to them. I'm then taking some Mod Podge and some white glitter and I'm adding it to the bottom corner of the heart, just where the stag's legs are. I'm also taking this glitter pen, it's basically mixed in with glue and a little bit of glitter. You tend to find them in the kids craft sections and this one is in silver. I thought it'd be really beautiful just to add to the treetops where the snow is on the napkin. It just made it look really realistic and beautiful. To finish this piece off, I'm taking this old belt that I found in my wardrobe when I was having a clear out. I knew it was going to come in handy for my crafts. So I'm taking my pliers and I just decided on the area that I want and I cut it. And then I took my hot glue so that I can attach it to the bottom of my heart. 
Now I'm done working on the first ornament, I'm going to carry on working on the second one. Again, just taking my gesso and covering the entire border with it. I'm also using it just to kind of wash out a little bit of the stag, just on the antlers especially. I wanted to keep this design a little bit more simple, seeing as the stag head is just so beautiful, I wanted a lot of the focus just being on there. Now my mould is all set so I'm just taking that out and then I'm cutting off all of the excess bits. Sometimes when you do this with hot glue it doesn't come out perfect so just make sure you neaten it up. I'm adding colour to it again using my gesso and then I'm taking my hot glue to add the embellishment onto the wood. Again I wanted to add subtle colour to this and I really just love the metallic shimmer to these powders so I'm using three different colours here kind of like a, a, an ivory color i suppose a cream and a brown color again i'm trying to match the colors in the napkin itself so i used the cream color over the border and then i took the darkest color of brown that i had and went over the heart embellishment that i made with a silicone mold and then i took the lightest color so the kind of like the whitest color that i had in the powder and I added that to the entire background, including the stag. I just made sure that I don't add any to his face. I always like to do this step when my paint isn't fully dry, just so that the pigment can actually stay on there. Now to finish this piece off, I'm taking a hairband and again I'm just cutting it so that I can get the little embellishment that I want and it's like a cream ivory colour with crystals in so I thought that that's quite nice because it matches the colour scheme and it's simple but beautiful and it's kind of shabby chic as well. And here's the finished projects, but let me tell you, honestly, the camera didn't do a great job at picking up all of the finer details. For example, you can't even see the glitter really on the trees, so it really does look much better in person. But I still think they're really beautiful and I'm really happy with how they've come out. I think this is just such a wonderful way to dress up some boring wooden shapes and you can make this as decor to hang on your wall or tree ornaments, maybe gift these and even make them to sell. Now under this video I am also adding in a giveaway, thank you so much for helping me reach 7k, as always I do giveaways with every milestone just to thank you all because it really does mean so much. So the rules this time are really simple because I want to give back to those who actually watch my videos regularly and support me, so just as you usually do leave me a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and leave me a comment down below and you'll automatically be entered. As usual, I'm going to be choosing two winners and each winner gets three gifts of their choice. This giveaway is going to be running for two weeks and it's open worldwide. I'm also going to be notifying the winners in the community tab, so make sure you keep an eye out. So that's it for this video. I had a few announcements with the giveaway and with the channel update, rebranding and the DIYs itself. I hope that you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.